So for me, some of the ones that I have, some of them are, are classics. Gotcha. And I don't even know because I, I, I feel like I'm a little bit older than you. So I don't know if you've seen some of these, like if you came up in the 80s. But um, Revenge of the Nerds is probably yeah, the, great the, the quintessential classic. Mm -hmm. Then you got Real Genius. Do you remember Real Genius? Okay, so that's the one with Val Calmer. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that was a great one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it was. Can't Buy Me Love. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. yeah. And that's Patrick I, Dempsey. Yeah. And is, isn't that movie like secretly like an influence of like a bunch of films? Like didn't like a bunch of movies like rip off that movie off after that came off? Like, oh, kind yeah. Of formula? That, that was the first of its kind, kind of where the, the, the nerd kind of wins everybody over and becomes cool and all of that stuff. So, yeah. Um, then Weird Science. Yes. Yeah. There, Anthony Michael Hall. There you go. <laughs> and then I had Mean Girls. Um, oh, interest. I love that movie. So why is that movie dirty? I'm very I think, excited to hear. Because I think Lindsay Lohan's character was a nerd, essentially, mm -hmm. and then had mm -hmm. to win over the Mean Girls by using her brain and outthinking them. Right. And, and with a strategy like similar to the Animal Kingdom and all that kind of stuff. And she figured mm -hmm. a way out how to how to uh, beat them. Right. Yeah, now figure out like the mathletes part as well. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. Oh, yeah, I love that movie. And Tina Fey, I guess, is kind of nerdy too, like in that movie. And she's, yeah, every character in that movie is incredible. That's that's a great list. I love that. 